holidays, that long-awaited time of the year. After several projects at the same time, it's time to disconnect and do a little tourism. Come with me on this adventure where we are going to visit amazing places with a lot of history in my neighboring country, France. Before arriving at our first destination, we find a pit bike competition. Probably here are the future MotoGP champions of tomorrow. This is Andorra, a small country surrounded by nature, low taxes and youtubers. It is 200 kilometers far from Barcelona and it is one of my favorite destinations when I want to disconnect and shopping. This is what was in front of our hotel. Last night we didn't realize and it's really cool. We check the tire pressures, a little bit of water, roof down, and let's go to France. Before reaching our destination, we make stop at Lourdes Sanctuary. I'm not a religious guy, but I consider it visiting. It is shocking to see the large number of visitors there are. Many, and many from many different countries. Faith move mountains and a lot of money. We arrive in Po. Here we will visit the city and spend the night. It is located in the Pyrenees area. They say that from your balcony you can see one of the best views on France. Is it true? But Po is not only known for his beauty, it is also known for his races. Welcome to the urban circuit of Po. We are in Bordeaux, a city that I fell in love with because of how beautiful it is. His streets, his parks, 
and his walk along the river make it a very pleasant city, and it surprised me a lot. Welcome to the Dune du Pilat, the highest sand dune in Europe. It measures more than 100 meters high and is very curious to see. Frequented by paragliders and surfers make it a unique place. Time. Since it is close to us, we go to the town called La Teste de Bouc, a small fisherman's village where we enjoyed les fruits de la mer. Continuing our trip along the Atlantic coast, we stayed overnight in La Rochelle, a beautiful fisherman's town with a beautiful pedestrian street and a spectacular aquarium. We are in Nantes. Here we stopped to eat 
and make a quick visit to the city, since we have several hours on the road to our destination today. It's when you travel by car that you discover random places that you didn't know you were going to find. Like this workshop in the middle of a rural area with countless classic cars at the door. And finally we arrive at Le Mans. This beautiful city harmoniously combines the old with the modern. We visit the Cathedral of Saint Julian before the big surprise of the day, the 24 hour circuit. About 7 kilometers from the city, it's the circuit and its museum. It's Wednesday, and there is a motorcycle track day. There are still signs that the 24 hours of tracks were held the previous weekend. The track is divided between two sections. The permanent circuit is 4.2 kilometers long, and the semi-permanent circuit is 13.6 kilometers. But what surprised me the most was the museum. Of all the car museums that I have visited throughout my life, I will dare to say that this is the most complete. Guys, enjoy!
Welcome to the Mont Saint Michel. This colossal abbey is built in the middle of an island. It is curious to see how the landscape changes depending on whether the tide is high or low. We are in Rouen. This is a road, but until 1993, it was the Rouen Les Sauve circuit. National and international races were run here. Who will have thought? trip is nearing its end. After a mandatory stop in Paris and visit to the Eiffel Tower, we head towards what has been the main reason for this trip. And for this time, it's not about cars. We arrive at the Normandy region, famous for its beauty, its cheese and its history. I have read a lot about World War II, and I wanted to be here, to be in the place where our modern history was forged, the Normandy Landing Beach, Omaha Beach. This place gives off a brutal energy, reminding us of what human beings are capable of, of the people who died and the blood that was shed, a place that we should never forget. Be happy, guys.